Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Pete, and you guys are watching Paid to Drive and Pay to Drive Vlogs coming at you once again with another brand new video. Hope you're all doing fantastic out there. And ladies and gentlemen, if you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you, my friends, should definitely be subscribed to this channel with all notifications turned on if you want to stay up to date with what's going on in the gig economy. That's right, so hit that red subscribe button. Turn on, the, turn on the notifications, and of course, hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job and all that good stuff. Leave a comment saying liked, L-I-K-E-D, and let's jump on into this. So, a bunch of you guys sent me this, okay? So, uh, I just want to go over it. Um, this, this one came from Gil. This was like the first one that I saw. So he goes, new from DoorDash, what would make me feel safer is not having to go into people's apartment buildings late at night, especially when there's no security person. By the time this device is active, it could be too late. Now, what is he talking about? Did you guys hear about this? DoorDash rolls out SafeDash, an in-app security toolkit for delivery people on the platform. Yes. DoorDash is introducing SafeDash, a new uh, a new in-app security toolkit aimed at helping its delivery providers feel safe while they work. SafeDash is rolling out in New York, Chicago, Philadelphia, Detroit, San Francisco, and Los Angeles. Now, are any of you guys in any of those areas? Let me know. Um, users on the delivery side of the platform across the U.S. will get access to SafeDash by the end of the year. The company has partnered with ADT which is a security company for like alarms and stuff uh, to launch two new features within the toolkit. The safety reassurance call feature lets users connect with an ADT agent through the Dasher app in instances where they may feel unsafe. The ADT agent will remain on the phone until the individual feels safe. If the incident escalates and the person is unresponsive for a period of time, ADT will contact 911 to request an emergency response to their last known location based on GPS from their smartphone. I happen to like this so far. DoorDash is also rolling out an emergency assistance button that allows users to seek help if needed. Once a delivery person clicks the button, an ADT agent will contact 911 and discreetly stay in contact with the user via text messages. The agent will then pass along critical information, such as the person's location, to 911 operators. The company notes that this feature allows users to help to get help from 911 without having to speak on the phone. Very interesting. Uh, Safe Dash was born out of feedback from Dashers, and our hope is that with the access to these tools, we're giving Dashers yet another resource to feel safe and secure on the road said Elizabeth Jarvis Sheen, DoorDash's Vice President of Communications and Policy, in a statement. DoorDash says it plans to develop more features for the toolkit and is looking to launch virtual education resources, direct communications, educational materials, and in-app guidance in the future. It's worth, it's worth noting that DoorDash's Safe, uh, Safe Dash toolkit is similar to Uber's driver, Uber's, Uber's driver, safety toolkit, which also includes an in-app emergency assistance button and several other features. The launch of SafeDash follows DoorDash's forecast of a potentially weaker quarter three, citing the ongoing uncertainty around how consumer behavior related to the pandemic may continue to impact its business. So what do we think, Dashers? Does this make you feel safer? Does this make you feel more secure when you are out there doing, uh, you know, doing your deliveries? I mean, I, I like this. I like anything that would help keep me safer, I'm okay with. You know what I mean? And potentially here, you could be earning more money because you're feeling safer out there and you can get more deliveries done. Just another way of positive way of looking at it because I know everyone is concerned about how much money they're earning, you know? Um, anything to keep you on the road longer, you know, in a, in a safer environment, I'm okay with. I think that's a good, I th a good idea, personally. Um, so with that being said, dashers and drivers alike. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the chat down below or the comment section. Uh, if this makes you feel safer, if this makes you feel more secure, uh, if it makes you feel better about being out there, especially at late at night, maybe in areas that you're not too uh, keen on or areas that you're not too uh, crazy about delivering in perhaps, I don't know, or it could just be anywhere. So yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. 
And of course, if anyone out there ever has a topic, an article, a story, a question, whatever, send me an email. Paid to drive stories at gmail.com is the best way to reach me. Or for a uh, quicker response, you guys can message me through Patreon at patreon.com forward slash paid to drive. That link is in the description down below or the pin top comment. And anyone who signs up, as a patron is my way of saying thank you as I give you guys shout outs in all my new videos, which I'm about to do right now. So when you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. We've got the very generous Samantha Michaels, John Birchfield, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Ivan Jerome Gilroy, Joe Valerio, Angela Counts McCarty, Kurt Paul, Lee Peacock, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreaux, Laura Love, Agus, Tom Perry, Alan G. Van Horn, Lawrence Brown, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Joyce Hine, Brian Richardson, Kenny Best, Ginny Thomas, Candace Mitchell, uh, John Bonacci, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and Valerie Brown. So huge shout outs to every single one of you guys. Really, really appreciate that. So, yeah, if you guys want to sign up, link's in the description of the pin top comment. Who's going to be the next patron? Maybe it'll be you. Let's find out. And with that being said, my friends, uh, I hope everybody out there is saving lots of money with the Get Upside Gas app. It's a free app for your smartphone. And, uh, yeah, link's in the description down below if you want to get that. Click on the link that says Get the Free Gas app. From there, it'll tell you how to download it on whatever kind of device you have or phone or whatever you use. And then from there, you go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app. And within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside, links in the description. Uh, make sure to download it today. And for all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies, you guys know where to go. PaidToDriveStore.com is the place for you, my friends. That's right. We got lots of brand new designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably have it on sale every day. PaidToDriveStore.com is the place for you to go. That's right. Links in the description of the pin top comment. And if you made it to the end of this video, simply leave a comment saying end 235, E-N-D 235. Just lets me know you made it to the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind it, hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. In fact, leave a comment saying liked, L-I-K-E-D, just so I know you did it. And until next time, everybody, Everybody get that money, get that honey, keep hustling and keep bustling. And we'll see you guys next time right here on pay to drive and pay to drive logs. And as always drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace later.